Hey everybody, doing another video today talking about one of our coffees that shows up in our line the whole year round and it's been with us for years and that is Bone Shaker Columbia. The story behind this coffee is pretty interesting, especially the Bone Shaker name because it, it actually uh, came to Stone Creek through a seasonal espresso program that we used to have. During my first year here at Stone Creek, actually, um, we decided to try a rotating seasonal espresso that we really wanted to be in your face and juicy and really, really unique. And uh, we wanted to kind of riff off that Green Bike Espresso name. So we've got Green Bike and we wanted something that was, again, bold in your face and bike related. So uh, an old style bike that actually had wooden wheels was called a bone shaker because you're riding over cobblestone roads on this wood wheeled bike and literally shake your bones and uh, this piece of artwork the skull was originally worked up with the bone shaker bike as the eyes um, for this seasonal espresso that we ran for probably a year and a half to two years um, before we said listen there's this this name bone shaker is awesome but this program wasn't really working out for us in terms of customers actually coming in and wanting a seasonal espresso all the time and we were cycling the coffee it was a different coffee every two months it was difficult for us to keep up with so we said you know what we're gonna we're gonna work on changing our coffee line which I talked a little bit about in uh, the video where I talked through what's on our coffee labels we said we want to make sure that we have really amazing farm to cup coffees in our line year-round so as we looked at what those coffees would be, we, we knew we wanted one to be a Colombian because we love Colombian coffees. They're sweet, clean, and juicy generally. And because they tend to be very, very acidic, like high, high citrus, big juice, um, you know, a lot of malic acidity, um, citric acidity, we, we thought that that coffee really helped represent the bone shaker imagery that we've created and, and that we loved this the skull and so we said we want our Colombian to be called bone shaker and it's been that way now for uh, a little over two years that we've had this bone shaker Colombia as a standard part of our line and bone shaker has come from two different farm to cup partnerships uh, there was a, a farm in Nariño uh, that we worked with an exporter called Azahar Coffee on. And then right now it is a co-op lot from Huila, Colombia that we work with an exporter called Caravella to pull out of the country. So we've been working with Caravella on Huila co-op lots for a couple years. And these coffees, the coffee that shows up in Bone Shaker, shows up in a lot of places in our line because it's so phenomenal and brings a juicy pop to many things. So right now it's in Green Bike. It's almost always in Green Bike because uh, Colombia has, well, they're always harvesting coffee. This is super unique. Like in Costa Rica, Guatemala, they harvest once a year, then they're, they're done. Um, but in Colombia, they're always harvesting. So they get multiple crops a year. So we can always have sweet clean and juicy fresh colombian coffee so that's why it's always in our line and so it's in green bike almost always and certainly in bone shaker it'll show up in cream city in our seasonals um, and in our short runs as well so i got to visit caravella um, and cup through our lots last year in june um, so i plan to go back hopefully next year see what's going on but it's just been a great partnership for us this is one of my favorite coffees to have around it's my go-to like if i'm ever like ah what do i want the wheel of columbia is really hard to beat for me because that big juicy flavor profile it just it gets me so that's coffee number one and then next week we'll talk about another coffee in our line and then soon we'll also hear from eric as he talks us through what it means to be a b corporation that's something we're looking forward to as an organization in the next year is becoming B Corp certified. Um, so in just a couple of weeks, you'll get a video from Eric talking about that and what that will mean for Stone Creek Coffee. If you guys have any questions or want to hear uh, me talk about something else, want to hear somebody else in the company share what's going on, I'd love to set that up for you. So please reach out to me. You can send me a text, give me a call. Uh, my phone number is in the cafes or you can email dpond at stonecreekcoffee.com. See ya.